Hey guys, so this is out of Technique and Artistry. I don't believe that she has this book, um, but I will send this as a PDF so you can just print it off or just look at it. Um, so for this one, this is going to help um, with a skipping pattern, and it's all legato. So this is kind of solidifying legato again. So you're going to have your thumb on middle C, and this is just right hand right here. So what you'll have is... So that's the first line. Then the next line, you're going to go up another octave. And then you're going to go up one more octave. So notice when I played this, the only space I had was between the repeated notes. So this is an exception in legato. That's why there's not a tie right here because you have to lift off and create space. Or it's just the same note. So the only thing with this is where you can have that, where you can lift off and you won't have legato there. But here, there's no reason to not have legato because you're using different fingers. So you're going Does that make sense? So if you have Do you hear how there's space in between them? So we want legato, so no space in between them. So practice going through this um, and making sure that there is no um, space in between any of these notes or any silence. You don't want silence there. You want it to flow from one to the other. So when you put your C down and then you go to put your E down, your C should come up like a millisecond behind when you put E down. And this takes a while to get, so that's why I wanted to do this, because I think this will help. Um, and then there's also for left hand. So it's the same thing. And then you'll go down to the next octave. And then one more. So, I would practice this. This will help with your legato. And it'll also help with skipping and arpeggios. So this is what you can do for the technique for next time.